Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will update the source code for Flutter phone authentication, which we have done two years ago in this channel. And after that, there were a lot of changes and updates to Flutter and Dart, including the null safety. And also, all the packages have been updated, and there were some changes to the structure and the usage. We will try to cover everything in this video and make this project work. Here is the final result how it will perform. We will give our phone number and by pressing the next button we will come to the OTP verification and by providing our OTP we will be logged into our home page and have the unique user ID by pressing this button we will be logged out so let's get started with the video but before that I request you to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss such videos in the future and without talking too much let's do it Okay, to get started, first you have to come here and download the project. Then open up the zip file and extract it to your location. Now look. So now that we have our project, first of all you have to come to PubSpec YAML and upgrade the packages. Once it's done, then we also have to update the latest Dart SDK. So in this case, I will open another project which is having the latest SDK. So this is another project. I will just copy the SDK and paste it here. And there's nothing else to change in here. Just save it. And now go to the Android app build.gradle. In here, you have to change the compiled SDK to 31 and also the targeted SDK to 31. And down here you also have to copy them one by one and check for the latest version. Now copy this one, get the latest and paste it. So now we're done with this one, just save it and come down to build.gradle of project level and do some changes. First thing is you have to update the Kotlin version, which I will take it from here. Then change this build version. And also search for this one if there is any update. And now we are good. You also have to come to this Gradle and Gradle-Wrapper.Properties and upgrade this one. So I will copy this one as well from here. Save it. And one last thing, you have to come to the Android Manifest and convert your project to Android X compatibility. You have this one already, so we can only change this one. So let me copy this from the other project as well. You have to come and copy this name from here. And that's it. Now we can go to the PubSpec YAML, save everything. So now we have to convert our project to null safety. I will do that very quick. Okay, our home page is now null safe. We also have to go to our OTP page and make the same changes. There's also some update here in Pinput. We can import that. Again, and let's come down here and see the, what other changes are here. We can make this pin put. And now instead of this field count, I believe it is length. And instead of text style, we have the pin theme. So we will set the default pin theme. And in here, Let's go and see what are the changes in the pen put. I can simply copy this design from here and delete the old one. Now I can copy the default pen theme and paste it here and remove these ones which are not available anymore. And you can also design your submitted field, selected field and following field one by one by doing the pen theme. As you can see, we have got the error, focus, disabled, following, submitted theme. You can design them one by one like this. You can set the width, the height, the text style, decoration, margin, padding, and everything. But for now, we will get the same design for all of them. So by default, if you don't set the submitted, selected, following, all those stuff, it will take the default theme for all of them. And also here on submit and this one should be null safe instead of this showing snack bar we have another way this is the old method and down here we also have to make these ones null safe to make it work and it seems that everything is just fine now to test our application i also have to add the 
google-services.json from our Firebase. Let me see if I have the Firebase still. So luckily I have the Firebase for this project till now. I can simply come to the project settings and down here I can download the google-services.json and I can drag this one directly and paste it into our application. And I guess I have to go and add some testing phone number if there isn't one. I can go to the authentication, sign in method, phone number is enabled. Be sure to enable this one and come down here to phone numbers for testing. You can add some phone number. So we already have this phone number for testing with the verification of zeros. Let's go ahead and test our application whether it runs now or not. Okay, so we have got some errors here and it seems that uh, it says that minimum SDK should be 19 and also it's pointing to firebaseanalytics.kotlin. Let's go to the build.gradle and see. I think there is some changes to this thing. Let me check the Firebase. So we are in phone auth. Let's go to the documentation of Android configuration and down here we have to implement this one and also let me add this firebase art kotlin instead of this one and uh, we don't have anything so let me save this and run again here if there is the error still all right guys so the app is finally running let's check the app and see if it really works or not let's provide the phone number very quick and click next Okay, everything is working, but this OTP is not visible. Let me change the color here and we have to restart. And now let's type the phone number again, press next. And in here, let me type the OTP that we have given in the test phone number. And it should log in as. So we have successfully converted our two years ago code into the latest Flutter version, which is 3.0.5. And it is still working. So thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like. And I will see you in the next video.